So I have here a new still book opening for you and it is for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So let's take a look at this one. It comes with a lenticular card. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to this steelbook opening. As I said, for the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie. It's not yet out here in the UK, but it is very soon. This is actually the Italian version, with Italian writing on the J card. But, does the steelbook have English writing on it or not? We're going to find out. Also comes with an exclusive lenticular card. Um, Morbius did as well when that came out um, in Italy. I think it was the Italian one anyway. Um, so let's adjust the camera so we can take a gander at this release. Okay, so here we have the still book. It is still sealed, obviously. Now, I went for the Italian one because, well, it came out earlier and it had the exclusive lenticular card with it. It's always nice to have that little bit extra if I'm going to delve into picking these up. I do have still books for the prior two Guardians of the Galaxy movies and this film was pretty good. Um, I can't deny that. It sort of felt, felt like it was part of the decent side of the MCU, being that it was still James Gunn who's carried us through now all three of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. So in that respect, it was good. So um, DVD, a Blu-ray and 4K inside. Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying DVD. Guardiana della Galassia, volume three. There's the spine and it does look like it is in English underneath, which is good. Um, there's all your technical specifications. Obviously the back is in um, Italian as well. But let's open it up and let's take a look. So here we go, here we have it. So it is glued down and it is a pocket J card. There's the side, Guardians of the Galaxy, volume three. Um, nice pink color to it on the side, on the spine. Um, there's all your characters, Dawn in the front. Let's open it up, get this glue up. Um, I'm not a fan of this glue because you always end up bending the card somewhat, don't you? But there we go, hefty amounts of glue on that one. Let's take it out and take a look. So, so the steel book, obviously it doesn't have the title on the front, it's just a plain steel, like so. English title on the spine. And on the back you have rockets. Um, because the focus of the film is on him. Um, let's take a look at the front and back together. There's the front and back of the release. Um, yeah, I don't. I like that. Quite like the colours. Almost looks like a petrol spill. When you get some petrol spilled on the ground and you get them sort of purple and blues. Almost looks like that at the back. I'm not sure I'm a lover of this front cover art, I'll be honest. Um, you know, you've really sort of got to look at what you're looking at. You, got, you, you know what I mean? This Because they're all quite small on it, all the characters. and But anyway, let's take a look inside. So here's the lenticular. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, this here is the 4K disc with the rocket on it, nice disc art. And this here is the Blu-ray disc and that's got Groot on it, like so. And there's the interior art on it. So that's quite nice. Yeah, 
Um, and the card that comes with it is that. And I'll be honest, there's not really anything great to shout about. Nice thick card, um, Italian writing on it. But does it really work as a lenticular? Not really. Doesn't really give you no depth or anything. Pretty poor effort, really, on that card, but there we go. But regardless, it was about getting the film because if I didn't get the this release, I'd have got the British release. Um, yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's a look at that release of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Steelbook. Italian one. Mm, probably the weakest of the still books for the Guardians films, but there we go. Thoughts down below.